Welcome to the International Business Times UK, I'm Sharon Green. Severe flooding is threatening parts of New South Wales and Queensland in eastern Australia, with many towns cut off and thousands of residents evacuated. Authorities have said more than 10,000 people affected by the floods have been left stranded. Queensland's Premier Anna Bly has declared flood areas in the state's southwest a disaster zone, with a major emergency unfolding. Residents that live in low-lying parts of a town called Roma have been told by the Maramoa Shire Council that there is an immediate threat to their homes and that they are to evacuate immediately to higher ground. The town of Mitchell, also in the state of Queensland, is among the worst affected, as its 750 residents were forced to evacuate after flood water inundated their homes. The town of Moree in northern New South Wales is reportedly facing its worst flooding in more than 35 years, with more than 2,000 people ordered to evacuate homes and buildings. New South Wales Premier Barry O'Farrell said from the air Moree looks like an inland sea. The state's emergency services said water levels at the Mihai River had peaked and flooding was expected to continue for several days. Australia's Bureau of Meteorology has issued a severe weather warning for parts of Queensland on Friday. The current conditions follow disastrous flooding that hit Queensland in December 2010 that affected at least 70 towns and more than 200,000 people. 35 people died as a result. The damages were estimated to total around 1 billion Australian dollars with damages to crops, infrastructure and the state's coal mining industry. Thanks for watching the latest news updates. I'm Sharon Green reporting for the International Business Times in London.